Hi, Victoria Casey here, and today's blog is about flipping houses, and uh, I went to a really interesting post that I found on How Stuff Works. Let's just close that out right there. And it talks a little bit about house flipping and kind of what it is, and another uh, really good ad, which you can't seem to find here, uh, Beginner's Guide to House Flipping. Uh, this, this guy's actually run a school of house flipping. I'm not endorsing it. I don't know what their school really is, but I did like their article, and and one of the things it brings up is before that you get into it that you really understand a little bit about the process uh, there's some good books out there you just go to amazon uh, dot com well actually let's, let's not go there let's go to uh, just google let's just google uh, books flipping houses and there'll probably be something flipped. The book on flipping houses, how to buy and rebuy. The book on flipping houses, rehab, resell. It basically, this is, uh, I think I've looked into this one before. I actually have a few books on this. And uh, really before, uh, for $22.49, if you guys are thinking about going ahead and getting into flipping a house, you might want to look at this book or any other book because the reality of it is, is you're talking about a high risk business uh, if you're a person that doesn't like to live on the edge and you're not a cannonball into the pool of life kind of person flipping houses are probably not going to be for you but it takes more than just guts you really have to know your stuff you're going to have to find a, a, a market out there you're going to have to find the right house to get it really under the market value or and be able to do quick cosmetic changes that are not going to kill you in the process uh, and you need to be able to get your hands dirty and do a lot of self stuff yourself um, so if you have a background in um, in reconstruct in construction or something that's great plumbing electrical otherwise you're going to have to hire contractors to do that and you have one thing that's just one this little one little article pointed out if you have one thing one timing issue a crime a problem you're toast. So you really got a massive investment in it and it's not for everyone. If you do find that you have the skills, that you have the ability to budget, that you have the ability to, to plan, that you have the ability to, that you have a run of really good luck, that you have the money to put into it and to wait to get back, uh, it might be right for you. But it's uh, it's something you really need to consider before you do. And um, again, it's your, there's financing involved. And the main thing that you know you know is that you've you've got to keep as much money in your pocket at all times, and so that's another good point for one of the reasons that in this case I would recommend using a discounted or a flat fee listing, is because you can save a significant amount of money. And if you're the kind of person into flipping houses, then it's right up your alley because you're going to be very proactive selling your own house. And that was my advice. Just a little bit of know what you get into before you get into it. And I look up a few of these articles are pretty good. Look up the book. Kind of look around before you start really doing this. Maybe try and find some people that are doing this for a living and start talking to them and get a little information before you go jump into it. But it can be for the right person. It can be pretty cool. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks.